G'day and welcome back to our Austria-Hungary campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. So I've decided we're going to do Lithuania, do it by naval invasion so that we occupy it rather than handing it over to the Germans. So just for conquering Kaunas, 110 days, it's going to be a long one, it's fine, need the uh, time to get the guys up there to start preparing anyway. And down here, we will set them all to go whenever they're ready. They can just keep hacking away at them, losing the manpower that we don't really have. We've sunk his carrier. Nice. So as destroyers, battle cruisers, etc. Thing is, we probably don't want to destroy his fleet because probably better off actually um, making him a puppet, keeping his fleet for the eventual war against Germany. Actually, I don't think I showed this before. Germany at the moment only has 58 divisions, which is really weird. It's got no manpower. Spain are the uh, strongest people in the Axis at the moment. Oh, we've taken another city. Okay. What does that put them down to? 12%. So we need one more. Where are you guys going? Oh, you're going to be idiots. Where the hell? Where are you going? You're going over to join that one. Alright, the little naval invasion of Iran. Well, we're probably going to lose troops when they try and do that. Can we stop them, please? That's better. Alright, they need to capitulate. Um, we need to screw them in Plymouth. Which isn't going to go well. So if we can grab all of these guys, throw them on there. Alright, wherever they think they're going to get that from. That's not going to work. This one we have taken. Right, Bristol is going to be the fall of the UK. Which division is going to get there? Alright, Bristol done. Oh, they're on exactly 10, so we still need something else. Um, English core territory. This, I think, would actually count. So if we go for a run through here... this way so that we actually get it um however far they can actually make it not sure that'll actually work out how we want and if we can get those few provinces there as well it's more likely that plymouth will fall first i think hmm. they're all doing Horrible ways of getting out. I don't like it. Taking out one more destroyer. A lot of planes coming in to help from our allies. <clears throat> it's not good. This one, Cardiff's going to be the way we have to do this. Alright, they're all good. Force rotation, done. Why do we have... We've got a research bonus on it. Alright. 60 days sounds fine. 5 days for night vision. We're going to be in Cardiff. Alright, that should definitely put them under. 8%. So, they're going to lose all of their boys. they got 166 divisions at the moment. <clears throat> UK has capitulated. Yes, we hit a tiny amount of stuff. They're gone from there. The Americans are still in. Uh, we can't see it from there. We have to go there. So he's lost a few. Not as many as we'd like. There's a lot of Americans in there, so that's going to take a bit. <clears throat> but Plymouth will be ours. He's actually being allowed to pull back. Alright, we're into Plymouth. Night vision researched. Cavalry, we do have. Um, land night attack would probably be better. Do we have land doctrine or anything we want to research? Organization for all infantry, and then recon up for the other one. All right, I'm going to start on that. In May, we should have... Ooh. Why is the naval combat over here? Do have some subs coming through. All right. May we should be able to start building nukes, was what I was going to say. Alright, taking Plymouth. 
hull will take a bit longer, as long as we can keep them in there. Got 43 guys at the moment. Let's put these guys up here as well. Have an even 50. Alright, they're going weird ways to get out. I'm ready to port strike. That is... Oh, God damn it. Alright, um... Saying 50 divisions, don't know exactly where they're coming from. So, let's go make sure we retake this city. So he's going to have supply there. And he's going to just bring as many guys as he wants in. Alright, Germans are holding most of Scandinavia. Lithuania. It's another 50 days out. Plus, how long it's going to take to actually get justification. The mine's coming in the 25th of Feb. A little Canadian thing down there. Well, Italy, you should be able to deal with that. These guys will be going back to England. Alright, just force all these idiots to reconsider where they're supposed to be going. We're coming up to this port. And yeah, just... Oh God, this is going to be annoying. Um, you guys... Alright, get over there and do something. Don't want them retaking England. Plenty of planes in reserve. Victory in the Battle of the English Channel. And these guys are slowly getting knocked out, so that's okay. Alright, looks like they might actually be leaving. Really need to actually defend this so we don't have to keep coming back over. Alright, 73 days, 40 more. Lack the intel out there at the moment, that's fine. Alright, take Bristol. Without too much trouble. Then split between Cardiff and Plymouth, which means we're taking the other one. Alright, good to go on Oman. So, declare the war. Joins the Allies, what a shock. Does he only actually have one division? He does. Alright then, you get to Muscat. And everyone else should be doing the right thing. Um, these guys have sorted themselves out. Okay, dealt with that naval invasion back there. And how's the coup in the US doing? Uh, they're at 53, hopefully they don't take over. Coup will be ready on 6th of July this year. Alright, got his destroyer. Some American battle cruiser is down for loss of some subs. Losing convoys, that's not good. It's probably actual army units. And destroyer and a cruiser took out two subs. Also, not very good. Kind of holding even with the number of ships that we have in our fleet. Alright, that'll be easy. This one be a little worse. Uh, let's grab these 38. Not gonna let me... Alright, that's those 38. We want them to garrison the area. No, because that kills the whole thing. Alright, these 21. Gonna form a new thing under... Don't care that he's a panzer leader. Alright, under Geza Lakatos. They will garrison England. You can do the whole naval invasion. Oh god, there's another one there. Uh, naval invasion defense. Alright, guard victory points, guard naval bases, guard the coastline. Don't care about the rest of that so much. Minimum divisions, 75. Yeah, it's a bit rough. All right, don't worry about the coastal and just guard the naval bases. So we need 22. We would like cavalry to be doing it. We don't have them up here. So let's grab... That wasn't doing what I wanted. Garrison them. All right. One, two, three, four. Into there. 
Alright, they can have those 25. Uh, those guys are going somewhere weird. They'll come back eventually. Alright, knock out the Dane. They'll swing around and help out with that one. And, of course, need to make sure somebody is doing this bit here as well. Alright, good to go. Is that Australians? Leaving? Annoying. Aman have capitulated, giving us a ton more infantry equipment. And yeah, look at all these. Getting screwed on the way past. Um, yeah, just a few Kaz. Hopefully they'll get through without losing any actual troops. Don't like the AI's way of doing that. Alright, where are you going? Sure. Alright, next war can start 10th of May. It's a bit far off. Alright, they're just sitting around there. You can go and retake that. Alright, so they're going to start actually fortifying the area a bit. Local resources, local manpower, local factories, yep. It's fine. As long as they can uh, get the resistance down a bit, we'll be able to start repairing the factories. And, yes, can a bunch of you please come over here? Just stop that naval invasion from succeeding. Yeah, I don't want that on. Thank you. Okay. 100 naval battle results. Destroyed his destroyer. How many do they have left? 118. Alright, and Plymouth is a thing again. Um, these guys, except for this one. Come over this way. Well, event, ah, actually had someone there already. Cool. And, so that's just broken it. Uh, fine. Alright, you walk that way. Let's get this guy to help. Alright, it's already walked out. Just needs to uh, sit on the base. So they automatically want to take the south of Scotland. And what do we have here? We have uh, light cruisers, subs, destroyers. Taking out another of his destroyers. If this guy sits in Plymouth, then that'll be safe. Okay, well he's trying to do a lot of naval invasions. If we can just get them back out of Cardiff, we'll be happy. Don't really care if they retake Ireland, but this one, much more important for us to hold. Alright, losing convoys. Yeah, that sucks. I think we're actually losing a lot of guys. Alright, more research finished. Give us the RMIs. And... Change the production. It should be top of the list. Alright, strap bomber two. Not fighters. Damn it. Strap bomber two. Okay. Still a lot of guys doing stupid stuff around there. Now, this Amani situation looks dealt with for now. This is where we're losing troops. No, you're just being annoying. Um, we're going to put you on this line here. Hope they can come back properly. Alright, so should just need the US to capitulate. Which would be hilarious if we can get their coup to work. Alright, slowly wearing them down. I think we are defending all the other ports around there now, so we should be good. Got somebody on each of them anyway. Put up their entrenchment. 
So one in Scotland, in Scarpa Flow, one in Arabia. Could actually be a little annoying. Um, let's put him in a separate army. And the Garoli. They will garrison the ports. We'll give them the whole area. No, they do sometimes do naval invasions over here. We already know they've tried to do one there. So that'll do. All you're going to worry about is guarding naval bases and victory points. You reckon we need 17. Oh, we got... Hmm. Don't want to actually split that many off. Just put 8 in. So we've got 100 in this one. Ready to go in two days. Can't start the war until 10th of May. A month and a bit. Alright. So, fleet. Doesn't need to be in the western approaches anymore. Fighter baiting. Alright. Um, probably don't really need the North Sea either. Let's go Eastern North Sea and get around to the Baltic. And two research slots now available. Alright, we're good on that. Some armour would be good against Germany. Um, Anti-tanks would actually be awesome. I think just support artillery stuff would be a way to go. And through land doctrine, naval doctrine, doesn't really seem worth it. Air Doctrine will go for extra ground support. 40 days we get nukes. Some Americans trying to do... Alright, they're doing Lund uh, Dublin. We will... Try doing something over there. We won't tell them specifically to actually start. We're losing so many guys on these random stupid things like this that they're doing. Alright, recalculate it. Just get out of their stupid sea zones. Alright, defeated in the Battle of the Baltic. Yep, losing troops. For no reason. Hmm. Gonna keep all those planes where they are. Except for these fighters. Um, not there. Not there. Put them in Belarus, then they can go to the Baltic States. Wait for that guy to arrive. There we go. Alright buddy, you're going to the Baltic, doing the normal sort of stuff. Still losing convoys. Alright, they're going to retake most of that. We already have our guys heading over there, though. Doesn't have any ships in there. Defeat in Guinea and the Cape of Africa. Places we never told them to actually go. Alright, so he has supply. We have supply. Let's try and hold him in there and push him back when we can. We've retaken Cardiff. Trying to land in Edinburgh or Rosyth. We should be able to screw with him. Just going and retaking it. At the same time, we need to give the orders to the other army. Should probably uh, do a naval invasion of that, but he does have troops there. Might be undersupplied because it's part of this region. Alright, leave them just sitting on there. Do what they can when they can. Alright, Americans down there. How are we looking on this one? Doesn't like the river crossing, obviously. Alright, we'll leave him there. Pretty sure he's got no supply, so... It'll be fine. The port's next door, not there. That's why he was able to take it. Alright, poorly defending that area. And with the UK's capitulation, Italy was given 
bunch of different areas. Free France, taking the tip over there. All right, we can handle the defense. We've got just okay supply. Yeah, we'll be able to retake these. All right, just widen the uh, front there. They'll be gone soon enough. Lost another convoy. The Siamese planes helping out. All right, he's encircled and he's got no supply, so those four will be dead. How are their losses actually going? They've lost more than us now. That's good. Um, but we'd have to do a naval invasion of the US. I don't like our chances of that. Alright. I also don't want to actually go over there to do anything. He's already trying to retake that. Um, do we have anybody on this line? No. Got nobody to pull over there. Alright, we'll ignore Iran for a bit. Seven days we can go do Lithuania. Who should only have... Well, he's actually made some more. He had one before. He knows... Okay. So, still got one million manpower. I think we might want to build up our army a little more. So, let's train some of these guys. Um, go 10 at a time. I'm going to set them. You can just stretch through there. It's kind of nice. Um, we'll set them just in the center somewhere, though. They're going to join these guys. Just make 20 of them. That'll be the 28 that they need. Okay. So this guy will be dead very soon. There's no other problems over there. Here's the ninth. Here's the tenth. Let's have a crack. Declare the war on Lithuania. Of course, it joins the Allies. Be screwed if he joined the Axis instead. Division's still preparing, some division's not in position. Yeah, that's the random other bits. These guys should be the ones doing the invasion. When do they arrive? This guy's actually green. Well, that's not cool. And what is the template for these guys? Oh, they're the ones with all the artillery. Okay. Nuclear bombs. Awesome. Um, rockets, so we can start working towards jet engines or building radar stations near Germany. 120 days for each of them. Doesn't really seem worth it. Let's go start doing some rocketry. Smash the Germans. Just build rocket sites all along our border so we can destroy Germany and Italy. And get the big rockets to head over to the US. Not aggression pact from Germany and Turkey. No. Can't see how many divisions he has in reserve. If he was smart, he'd have all six divisions sitting there. Although Germany is at war with him now. So we do really need to get through so we can take Kaunas before the Germans do. He's on both sides. Cheeky. Come on, guys. Get in there. Damn it, Germany. Alright, screw you. They're going to occupy it all because we can't actually get it now. Alright, it's war artillery. Keep going down that path. Yeah, it's going to all be handed over to them no matter what we do. Sucks. Damn the Germans. Could go take Gotland. How many factories in there? Two of 25 unlocked slots, so no, not worth taking. All right, we can forget about Lithuania. It's all going to be German-occupied. Oh, no. Might actually be able to take it ourselves. Get into Countess. Beat him. 
Alright. End of the day, that should be their capitulation. Great news. Giving us their stuff. And we actually get to have this little thing in here. Nice. So, the reason I wanted that was so that we could just chuck them on here. So that when we do end up at war with Germany, they will march to Berlin from over this side. Alright, sit them there for now. Plenty of supply in there. We want to put a bigger army in there before we actually go to war with Germans. So the next question would be, do we want to go to war with Germany before or after we uh, end the war with the Allies? Hmm. We've only finished seven nuclear reactors. Uh, you guys, join them. Still losing divisions. All right, the building of these. One, two, three, more coming soonish. So one takes a year, we've got seven. So you get seven nukes per year. It's not bad. Seven. How many? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. So once we've built all these out, we'll get a nuke per month. Uh, how are we doing on the actual production of strategic bombers? It's tactical bombers. 198 strategic bombers in southern England. The Philippines are capitulated. Awesome. Japan's actually managed to do that. So these guys are going to go to Czechoslovakia. From Czechoslovakia, they're going to go to Eastern Germany. I doubt that we can access anything over there. So we can't nuke the Americans. Alright, that coup is July. Only a month out. Pretty close. Hopefully, they get most of the American army. That's a hell of a lot of divisions that we don't want to touch. Okay, well, we're going to take a short break here. And when we come back, we will try and plan our next move. It's going to be a bit rough, but I uh, guess we might have a chance of taking out this achievement eventually. So, thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.